this video, I'll be demonstrating another feature of OCOV Pro version 5.03, wherein control points can be used on images that are taken without a CVT or a range survey poll. For this video, I already have a poll modeled with an associated image. Normally, when an image is incorporated or brought into the measurement window, the CVT type that is used is displayed in the upper left-hand corner. It is, however, possible to use a photo that does not have a CVT in it. To change the mode that we're using, we can go to the Image drop-down list in our Measure tab and select to change our current image's target type. This opens up an additional window where we have several choices, including no CVT mode. Even though this photo does have a CVT, for this video I'm going to switch to no CVT mode and hit select. You will see your screen momentarily refresh and any calibration points that were on the image will be erased. And now it clearly says no CVT mode in the upper left hand corner. When you are in no CVT mode, the calibration points that you're going to use for your photo are going to be the bottom of the pole and the top of the pole. It is essential when in this mode that the pole in your image and the pole that you are modeling be the same height and class. In no CVT mode, OCALC assumes that the pole in your image is the exact same height as the pole that you're modeling in your inventory window. So with our calibrate option selected, we can zoom in here to the bottom of our pole or where the pole meets the ground line and drop one crosshair. We can zoom out, pan up to the top of our pole, and drop another crosshair at the top, which will then immediately cause this to switch into height mode. Now, when in height mode, if you want to use a control point, first make sure that nothing is selected in your inventory list. That means nothing is highlighted over here in blue. What a control point allows a user to do is enter a known height. Now typically in this scenario you wouldn't have a CVT stick, but because I do, I know that this point here is 13 feet because that is the height of a CVT stick. This can also be done if a measurement is taken for the lowest com, say if this were 18 feet, that could be used as a control point as well. The idea of a control point is to make your measurements more accurate. To set a control point, you hold down the control key and click a point on the pole in your image, which will open up the control point height window. Now since I clicked here, I know that my CVT height is 13 feet, so I can put in 13 and press OK. This tags the control point in my image. With the control point tagged in my image, now when I take height measurements of other items, say this lower column here, I can select that item and set its height, which will populate the value down here for the installation height of that insulator. Now, once you have placed items around a control point, you are able to move the control point. You are only allowed one at a time. However, when you do move the control point, the items that you have placed do not move with it, so you don't have to worry about them resetting if you move your control point. So what I can do is right click on this control point label and hit delete. And it will ask you if you're sure, you can select yes. And you can pan up to maybe if you've taken a measurement of where this comm is attached. Again, make sure nothing is selected here. Hold down control and click. And you can enter a new control point, say 20 feet, which will make any measurements around that control point more accurate. Again, control points are beneficial for no CVT mode because this mode is going based on the assumption that the pole in your image and the pole that you're modeling over here are the same height. In this mode, it is typically more accurate by the top crosshair and the bottom crosshair. So a control point allows you to be more accurate in the middle of your pole based on a measurement that you've taken in the field.